Vasily Kandinsky was born in 1866 in Moscow, Russia. When he was young, he showed great sensitivity towards sounds, words, and colors. His father further encouraged his unique gift for the arts by enrolling him in art and music lessons. Yet, despite early exposure to the arts, Kandinsky did not turn to painting until the age of 30. Instead, he studied law, ethnography, and economics for his academic pursuits. Even so, Kandinsky's interest in color did not take a back seat as he went on to do his ethnographic research on color symbolism and its effect on human psychology. That research sparked another interest in folk art that Kandinsky continued to carry with him throughout his career. After completing his degree in 1892, he started his career in law education by lecturing at the university. Despite being successful as an educator, Kandinsky decided to abandon law and attend art school in Munich in 1896. It was in art school that he met other experimental artists who wanted to resist the conservative views of the traditional art institutions. Together, they started a group called Phalanx and expanded their group to include an art school and exhibitions group. Kandinsky also started traveling throughout Europe and got to familiarize himself with the growing expressionist movement and later developed his own style based on the many artistic sources he had witnessed on his travels. During this transitional period as an artist, Kandinsky's early works revealed his interest in the relationship between figure and ground perspective and the use of color to express emotions rather than reality. He was also the founding member of a group, the New Artists Association of Munich, where it sought to accommodate experimental artists whose practices were too radical for the traditional organizations or academies of that time. His paintings soon became more and more abstract from the surrounding world as he gradually refined his style. He began titling works with musical terms such as improvisation, composition or impression to further stress their distance from the real world. Kandinsky believes that modern art has the potential for spiritual experience. His first publication in 1911 concerning the spiritual in art articulated his theory that the artist is a spiritual being that communicates through lines, colors, and compositions. His work, Composition 7, was an early example of this theory. The spiritual, emotional, and out-of-this-world experience is formed through complex patterns and brilliant colors. Kandinsky's works played a large role in later modern movements such as Abstract Expressionism and influenced other noteworthy artists such as Jackson Pollock who was fascinated by his theories about the expressive possibilities of art and especially his emphasis on spontaneity and the subconscious.